Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we'll be playing some Mountain Blade Warband and in particular the native expansion uh, pack which is basically the, the, the native pack as the name might suggest only it's an, well, an extension of it which should makes it harder. Um, they've disabled, we'll just start a new game while I explain this. They've disabled some perks like surgery so if you get a full squad going you can't like get them knocked unconscious instead of dying. So it's a little bit more realistic in some way, but um, yeah, it's it's more challenging. It's a native expansion for for those who've, who've finished the native expansion. It's a bit more challenging than the the default game. So um, you were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was. Um, I'm tempted to go for an impoverished noble or a veteran warrior simply because warrior stats and like king. I can go with noble. I think it's more uh, valuable to get diplomacy early on. Uh, you came into the world a son of a declining nobility, owning only the house in which they lived. However, despite your family's hardships, they afforded you a good education and trained you from childhood for the rigors of aristocracy and life at court. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as... Mm. I don't think we should do a nobleman's court, craftsman's apprentice, meh, nah. shop assistant, maybe for some trade, street arcane, I believe that's for uh, persuasion, I think we're gonna go with that, persuasion or um, like charm, it's always a good thing. Um, as a boy growing out of childhood, you took to the streets doing whatever you must to survive, begging, thieving and working for gangs to earn your bread. You lived from day to day in this violent world, always one step ahead of the law and those who wished you ill. Then, as a young adult, life changed, as it always does. You became... Well, this is pretty easy. It's once again two choices. It's either a squire for combat stance or a university student. I usually go for university student, but I believe that actually gives you surgery. And in this case, we don't need surgery since it's disabled. So we're going to go with squire here. Though the disti distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had to become a man and the whole world seemed to change around you. When you were named squire to a noble at court, you practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal out hard knocks and how to take them too. You were instructed in your obligations to your lord and of your duties to those who might one day be your vassals. But in addition to learning the chivalric ideal, you also learned about the less uplifting side. Old worries, old warriors' stories of ruthless power politics, of betrayals and usurpation, of men who used guile as well as valor to achieve their aims. But soon everything changed, and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision? Was um, I don't think this last one actually matters for stats. I think it's just story uh, for your storyline. So. Um, I'm gonna go with Wanderlust. It's the most gener generic one. Uh, brutality mode. Yeah, this is the thing that they added for the expansion. The choices we just made were all the same as in the native uh, pack. Um, as you can see, brutality mode is an optional game mode, a game playing mode for native expansion. It greatly increases the difficulty of the game. Many aspects of gameplay are changed. Once activated, this mode cannot be disabled. Be absolutely certain you are prepared for the challenge you will face. If you do not enable brutality mode now, blah 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 blah. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Otherwise, we'll just be doing native, so there's no use in that. Dark Knights, yeah, we're gonna do that. Basically, another sort of brutes, which are way stronger. And let's just start. Since we chose the nobleman start, we can start off with a banner. Um, hmm, what banner do we want? I'm gonna go with. Let's see, which is a good banner, mm. kind of like the animal things, but those are pretty generic, um, nah, I'm just going to go with the axis, uh, no quite a bit of saving, okay, so let's get, oh yeah, wait, surgery, you can put a point in it, it becomes red, you lose a skill point and it's stays zero so whatever you point in surgery it doesn't matter because you won't get any surgery skills just showing that and they've blocked i believe they've blocked another one but i'm not certain about that at least they blocked surgery which is well the most useful thing 
The only thing you can still do in this pack, I believe, is buy books that gives you plus surgery skills, and those actually still work. Um, plus, you could also get party members with gift surgery, which would also work. I believe those things, those two things, are the only two ways of getting surgery. Um, but it's w it's way harder, as you might imagine. So let's get some iron flash, power strike. We're gonna be starting off with sword and shield, so let's might as well do those. And some prisoner management for early gold, and I'm gonna start off in persuasion. Let's get 100 weapon skills. Enter a name. Well, that's just gonna be the fellows. And get a point in. Uh, Okay, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> I'll be back when I've done this. Okay, so this turned out to be our character. Let's get into the world. Uh, you are about Coradia, a land torn between rival kingdoms, battling each other for supremacy. A haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power or glory. In this land, which holds great danger ev and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventure will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Coradia and its kingdoms, you... Um, well, in my opinion, everyone sh starts with the Norse, so I'm not gonna start with the Norse. Um, simply because Norse are really strong early game um, and I obviously hate well no, not obviously but I dislike the horse uh, the Kyrgyz, uh units so I'm thinking of starting with the Swadian yeah starting with the Swadian you came by caravan through the heartland of Coradia, and green shoots of wheat, barley and oats are beginning to push through the dark soil of the rolling hills. And on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountains, herds of cattle and sheep are grazing on the spring grass. Occasionally, too, you catch sight of one of the great warhorses that are the pride of the Swadian nobility. The land here is rich, but also troubled, as the occasional burnt-out farm bears witness. You keep a wide berth of of some the <laughs> sorry about that you keep a wide berth of the forest where desperate men have taken refuge and it's of some relief when you crash the ridge and catch sight of the great port of Praven its rooftops made golden by the last rays of the setting sun you are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Praven and fall asleep quickly however you awake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings you venture out into the streets which are still deserted all of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hair of your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. So, just as in uh, the native part, you have to fight... Oh, I don't have a body armor. Uh, you have to fight your way out of the first uh, battle, which is pretty easy. The first fight is simply against one bandit. So, I think everyone who's played Modern Blade has done this before. It's not hard. And you talk to the merchant, in this case the merchant of Praven. Hello, kind sir. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're out alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other fellow. That's one less thief to trouble our streets at night. Although heaven knows he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. Sure thing, man. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while checking the street. And then, finally convinced you have not been followed, comes near you to speak. That's a nice house you have for sure. Now, let me explain my proposition. Blah blah blah. Everyone's played the <laughs> expand the native thing. Uh, you can pause the game if you want. Basically, he tells you his brother's been kidnapped and we have to help his brother. I'm interested. Let's do that. Simply because it gives you a lot of early cash, which you kind of need. So brave and it is. So this is the map, still pretty native, pretty basic. Uh, we're starting off. Just I believe we can actually start off by going to villages and recruit. I'm not sure though. No, I don't think we can. Mm, let's try one other village. Otherwise, we have to go to taverns and to recruit mercenaries. Now, see, uh, this is another thing they've added in the uh, the expansion thing. Um, Unless you are positive with the master of the village, uh, you can't actually recruit villagers from villagers, 
from Philidius, because, well, as this states here, terrified of retribution at the hands of their master, the peasants here refuse to follow you, which actually is, I've, I haven't had any success recording Philidius unless I have pos positive standing with the Lord. So we're just gonna, ooh, tournament. We're, no, I don't think we're gonna be able to do that yet. Um, so we're just gonna visit the tavern, look for some mercenaries. Mercenary sister in arm. Three of my mates. Okay, we'll hire all. How much money do we have left? 2800. That's fine. So let's go to. Shino. Tavern. Let's see if we can. Peasant woman. Is this actually for a quest or recruitment? <gasps> recruitment. Sick. Okay, I'll take those. So now we actually have a party size which is big enough. Peasant woman's and mercenary sister in arms. Uh, we can't actually take those on. So we're gonna get back to Praven. Get the quest. Oh, I missed Praven. <laughs> gonna get the quest accepted and uh, get some first paycheck. I shall hunt some bandits, sir, dear sir. You are a band of robbers. I've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep your prisoners and I'll let you go. No, but I brought steel. Such manly talk. Just charge, guys. Although I kind of want my peasants to be trained, so... I'm just gonna tell them to hold. Could I actually... Let's see if they're actually coming. If they are, ah, let's just charge them. I'll train them some other time. We have to get XP no matter what, so. <laughs> this is not one of the hardest fights. <laughs> Everyone has done this at the start. Get you some early gold, some early equipment. Oh, I missed there. Your enemies flee in terror. So that's that fight. Spare me, give me the location, etc. etc. Oh, there's my shirt. Oh, I need 12 strength for that. That explains it. See where the bandit lair is. Oh, it's really far away. Oh well, let's see if we can get there in one piece without encountering any bandits. I believe we can. I'm pretty sure we can. Yeah, made it. Attack the hideouts. Let's charge these guys. Yeah! Fear my awesome army of peasant women. You stand no chance. Gonna smack your head in with their awesome clubs of feminism. Stabity step. Stabity step. So yeah, the start of the game is well pretty generic as in other in every expansion rework. Oh, that's a tough guy. Stability, stability. Fear my peasant women with their better knives. I shall fear my women. So, final guy. No, I don't want to leave. See if we can snipe him. Snipe. Hit him. Nice. If we can hit him again. Nope. 
Who gets him first? Our arrow or the peasant women? I fear the peasant women might be first. Yep, they were first. <laughs> and there's the merchant's brother. Yay. Hello. No problem for saving your ass. So, peasant women. Um, I think we're gonna go with camp defenders. Oh, there. That's an improvement. So let's get our ass back to Praven and collect our reward. Oh, dear. This might be really inconvenient. Um... I think we have to pull back. I don't think we can... Two soldiers, yeah, that's fine. Um, I really don't think we could have fought those. We would have lost our entire army if we did. So we lost a camp defender and a sister in arm. Well, it's terrible. It's, it's not the best thing to happen, but it's not the worst either. I should have been more careful. Yay, no problem, man. See, 200 gold. Okay, um... We'll do the defend the town thingy, defeat the town stuff in the next episode, guys. For now, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like. Um, but keep on watching, because this series ain't stopping here. Anyways, guys, have a nice day. I'll see you all later.